Hi, I'm Representative Jonathan Brostoff, and welcome to my latest edition of What's Up Wednesday. Today, we're going to talk about the expansion of drug testing. Now, last week, Attorney General Jeff Sessions told federal prosecutors to pursue the most severe charge in nearly every case, even for low-level, nonviolent drug offenders. Sessions is pushing us back to the failed and racist policies of the war on drugs, which have devastated the lives of millions of Americans, especially in communities of color. In his remarks, Sessions cited Milwaukee as a prime example of an increase in violence. The reality is that overall, crime rates throughout the country are at an all-time low, and directing prosecutors to give the longest possible sentence is not a viable solution. It's simply cruel. Wisconsin repubs are unfortunately following suit and pursuing their own draconian agenda. Last week, they passed Assembly Bill 242, which will increase the number of people who have to undergo drug screenings in order to be eligible for state-run work programs. As my colleague, Representative Anderson, mentioned during his maiden speech, repubs are picking on low-income people with this bill but not on others who also receive state benefits. Executives of corporations who receive huge subsidies will never be treated this way. This bill is yet another effort by repubs to portray people who are struggling as drug-addicted criminals. And contrary to their vilifying claims, those receiving public assistance are statistically less likely to use drugs as compared to the rest of the population. This actually makes sense when you think about it, as folks who have fewer resources are generally more concerned with feeding their families and keeping a roof over their heads. AB 242 is now in the Senate, and if this is an issue that you would like to weigh in on, please contact your senators and let them know what you think about this bill. Now on a lighter note, Representative Subic, Reamer, and I passed a joint resolution last week recognizing May as Jewish Heritage Month. So, l'chaim to all my yids and yid allies. Thank you for tuning in this week. This is Wednesday, and that's what's up.